In our first story, the Bank of Ghana has increased the minimum capital requirements for microfinance institutions, financial NGOs and rural banks. The 100% increment forms part of a total review of the minimum paid-up capital for rural banks and microfinance institutions. Paid up capital requirement for obtaining a tier 2 and tier 3 microfinance institution license has now been increased to 2 million cities from 1 million cities. The 100% increment comes four months after the Bank of Ghana increased the minimum capital for microfinance institutions by 100% from 500,000 to 1 million cities. According to the central bank, microfinance institutions, which have been granted provisional approval by the Bank of Ghana, shall comply with a minimum paid-up capital requirement of 500,000 cities and submit a credible capital plan to raise the minimum paid-up capital to 2 million cities. However, applicants without a provisional approval from the central bank will have to comply. The Bank of Ghana has also warned that all microfinance institutions which fail to comply with the revised capital requirement will have their operating licenses revoked. The Etwabo gas processing plant in the western region has stopped operations due to a shutdown of the FPS Okwami Kuma at the Jubilee Field. The chief executive of the Ghana Gas Company, Dr. Sipayanki, could not quantify how much is lost due to the unplanned shutdown in the supply of gas. Talo Oil Ghana on July 7 issued a statement announcing an unplanned shutdown of the FPSO Kwame Nkuma at the Jubilee Field. Talo again explained the company is unable to export gas to the Ghana Gas onshore processing plant. The chief executive of the Ghana Gas Company, Dr. Sipayanki, said the Atuabo processing plant has not been able to operate since June 3 due to the shutdown of the FPSO. We are not actually operating and processing gas in situation of this nature. We are keeping ourselves in readiness to be able to process as soon as Talo is ready. So we have a shutdown. The chief executive lamented Ghana Gas is making financial losses due to their inability to supply gas to the VRA thermal plant at Abuazi. Unfortunately for us, we are in a, in a, in a very helpless uh, uh, position right now. Uh, because, you know, if you look at the, the gas value chain, we're in the middle. Mm. Well, operations has, uh, has been affected somehow because you were very hopeful that uh, when this bread is finished, People will see, begin to see the difference, but I can't say it. The FPSO Kwame Nkoma is a floating production storage and offloading vessel operated by Talo Oil Ghana at the Jubilee Field to process oil and gas. Talo has not given a date to start production on the FPSO. Dr. Sipayanki disclosed VRA owes the company $120 million for gas supplied since November 2014. Already, the country is undergoing a 24-hour load shedding exercise due to the inadequate electricity power generation. With the unavailability of fuel for thermal plants at Abuazi, the current power crisis is likely to worsen as a result. That's all for business.